Hey, and welcome to another Student Branding TV. I am Kay Dworkin. And I'm Amber A. Lamke. And uh, Student Branding TV is the online video component of uh, Student Branding, which is helping students at all levels uh, figure out kind of how to build their personal brands in order to achieve success no matter where they are. And this week we will be talking about leveraging your network and not being afraid to ask. So this past week I had two girls from um, that I went to college with that were in my sorority reach out to me. Um, one, I when I was a senior, one was a freshman and the other was a sophomore. And one, the sophomore had, who's now a senior, she had really done her homework and she sent me an email basically saying, you know, this is, I graduate in December. This is what I'm looking to do post-graduation. This is why I will, I'm ready to do that. This is my past experience, you know, really short and brief. And I noticed that you had some connections at this company that I'm really interested in working for. And, you know, can you help me out? Attaches my resume. So um, it just so happened that the connections were, you know, a really close friend of mine. So all I, I mean, it was as simple as me forwarding that on saying, you know, this girl knows her stuff. Uh, will you pass it on? And the co connection was made for her. I know, like, thinking back to college, I was sometimes, you know, people are really busy. You know, they have a lot going on. I felt bad, you know, or needy or just didn't want to interrupt them. But if you really do your research and the way that you approach them um, is really, you know, to the point and uh, communicates why you care, I think, you know, people will be really happy to help you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it, it's come up time and again in a lot of different books. And the one that I've read most recently regarding this is uh, Chris Brogan and Julian Smith's the Trust Agents. And, you know, they state in that book very clearly to be at the elbow of every deal, right? And so when somebody approaches you and does so in a way that they're looking for, they're genuinely looking for help, it makes you look good. It makes them look good if everybody in that transaction ends up getting something out of it, even if it is just social capital where, you know what, you're helping somebody out because you just want to help somebody. And like I said in a previous episode, you know, take advantage of people being willing to help you uh, with, uh, you, you know, figuring out internships or jobs because you never know who knows somebody and if you don't ask you're not going to get the help that you need so, so I mean you know one of the big experiences for me recently though is kind of building that network right and finding those opportunities for new people to interact with you and, and you know it just so happens that I recently this last week spoke at Ignite Phoenix number five um, and spoke on a topic that I'm really passionate about which is misusing things and over the course of the last week, I've had literally a dozen people call me up or drop me a Twitter at reply or send me an email and uh, just explain kind of how they misuse stuff. And all of a sudden now I've got this network of people who I never would have expected to interact with on that level. And so it's been very interesting for me because those people have very diverse jobs and now I've got networks that are just a single email away, right? And they're fantastic to use for that. So, Amber, what would somebody uh, do in order to kind of approach you the right way in order to get you to help them? Yeah, I think it goes back to, again, you know, just just doing your research and kind of knowing what you want. So, you know, go on LinkedIn, um, look at the companies that you're interested in, see, you know, what connections within your network, you know, know people at that company. Um, if it's someone that you, you know, feel comfortable emailing and reaching out to, go ahead and do that and explain, you know, this is what I want to do. This is why. Can you help me? Attaches my resume. And then it just makes it really easy for that person to forward that email on, um, you know, take five minutes out of their day and, you know, feel good about, you know, afterward I felt really good. Like, oh, I could have potentially helped her. You know, she, she looks like she knows her stuff, you know. So those are, that's my piece of advice. What about you, Cade? You know, I've stated previously that, that, you know, the online portfolio side of this, and this is something that Dan harps on time and again in his book and, and has done so on the personal branding blog, is, you know, having that ability for somebody to do research on you really quickly, right? So even if they don't know you really well, to be able to sit there, plug you into Google, and all of a sudden they get to see your portfolio and your LinkedIn profile, and there's nothing that's you know, blatantly, obviously wrong with your Facebook profile, it makes life a heck of a lot easier, right, for them to say, okay, hey, you know, that's a five-minute check for them. They now know that their, their brand isn't going to get hurt by supporting you, and in turn, you know what, they're going to you know, make it really easy for them just to do what you want from them. Um, yeah, definitely. With that, I think in your email signature, you should definitely have links to all of your online accounts. So 
um, they can quickly and easily just, you know, get to know who you are. And, and that actually ends up benefiting the, you know, contact that you're reaching out to as well, because then all of a sudden, you know what, hey, they're getting it from somebody who they probably like, trust, or, and or know, and uh, they're able to do their research on you and see if you're really a high quality person to talk with. Now, you're already getting in the door, not through some HR person or through some job posting, but you're getting through the door by somebody, like I said, that they already know. And that, that, that reference is a big reason why, you know, doors magically open in my experience is, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, once you get acknowledged by somebody who that end person that you want to talk to, you know, knows and appreciates Trust. and trusts. Exactly. It's a big thing there. Um, and, and it just makes a big difference in, in, in people's willingness to really go like not only that one step because you're young and you're, and you're out there, but you're showing initiative and you're showing resourcefulness. And those are all skills that any business, especially in this economy, can take advantage of. doesn't matter what they're actually doing or the service they're providing. So it, it can definitely be beneficial. I think we covered it pretty well. So just don't be afraid to ask, you know, um, do your research and tell them why and tell them what you want and someone will help you. Be direct. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, be sure to continue to keep up with uh, our contributors over at studentbranding.com. They continue to crank out amazing content. There was a, a great piece up there uh, this last week about uh, reaching out to your alumni network and having uh, leverage just alumni connections. And I think this ties right in with that. Um, so, you know, if you enjoy what we're talking about here, definitely go back and read that article. And, uh, you know, once again, I am Kay Dworkin. I'm Amber A. Lamke. And we'll see you guys next week.